Hello, this is Dr. Bill. We're at Kamiak View County Park. We are sitting here in the beautiful weather. My golly, it's a, a little bit hot, a little bit clear. It's wonderful weather, but what I want to really focus on right now is a species that we know very, very well up here at Kamiak View. It's Ponderosa Pine, Pinus, Pinus Ponderosa. Uh, this tree is scattering all around me right here. We can look at the bark of these trees right beside me. Just kind of spin your camera around. Take a look right over here. And what I'm looking at is that bark. It kind of looks like a, a truck tire wrapped around the edge of the tree. It's got a little bit of traction, a little bit of tread, but that's just the ponderosa pine. The other thing about ponderosa pine, as you look at its needle sets, you're going to find that there's always in these fescicles, where the needles are held together, you've got three needles in every fescicle. And that's the ponderosa pine. Yeah, there's some with two needles, like the uh, lodgepole pine, Pinus contorta. You can go up to the five needle pine, like the western white pine, Pinus monticola. But this one, Pinus ponderosa, right here, it's a very unique tree species. It'll live on the driest sides. You can get all the way up to Kamiak Butte's south facing aspect, and we have a lot of videos from there. You can see that in a lot of places, it's the only tree that can survive in that harsh, hot, dry climate area. Now, right here, we're on the western side on the north facing aspect, and it's very lush. We've got a lot of undergrowth vegetation. But I want you to look up at the crowns of these trees right now. Just, yeah, take a look at that. Oh my golly, look at that. It's dead. It's red. Oh, this beautiful ponderosa pine cone that uh, is the main uh, standard, right, for the ponderosa pine cone. Well, this is it, the pine cone. It came from these trees and they're dead because they're infected with a bark beetle. This dendrocterinous species gets into the uh, bark of the trees and the larva underneath the bark, they'll live in the cambium layer for one season. They grow, they mature, and when they come out the other side, well, then they can fly like a beetle. And they'll mate, they'll get together, and then the adults, the ladies, will lay their eggs back in another ponderosa pine tree. This can turn into a large outbreak. Well, right here at Kamiak Butte, right behind me, going down the hill a little bit, yeah, it happened about uh, 10 years ago. We lost several acres to the western pine beetle that infected this area. It's an unnatural thing, and what will happen next? Well, the woodpeckers will come in and eat the beetles out of, or uh, eat the larva out of the bark. They'll peel off all the bark of the tree. The tree's already dead. You see the dead top? It's dead. It's going to come down. These trees will fall. The larva will spread as beetles to infect other trees. And sometimes that process can go on for several years at a time. It's a natural part of it. It happens. And what will come up underneath it is the topic of our next video. Other tree species that will try to come into the site when the ponderosa pine dies because of the loss of bark beetle. Have a look, spin the tang, spin around and look at it all.